Hi, in this short video we are going to see what is meant by computation and what are the various types and what are the conditions to be met to do the computation. See, computation is nothing but turning off the SCR. To turn off the S the process of turning off the SCR is called computation. The process of turning off the SCR is clearly defined as a computation. Uh, turning off the SCR means we are bringing into forward conduction state into forward blocking state. That is called uh, turn off the SCR. And the conditions, what are the conditions to meet to achieve the turn off the SCR is the anode current, the current passes from anode terminal to cathode that has to be less than the holding current. Holding current is the uh, minimum current required minimum current to be uh, for the SCR to be in the on state, forward conduction state. If the anode current is less than the holding current, it will the SCR will turn off. The second point is uh, sufficient amount of reverse voltage has to be applied across the SCR. That means anode uh, that means anode will be in negative with respect to cathode for sufficient time so that it will turn off the SCR. So two points has to be made. One is anode current has to be less than the uh, uh, holding current. And the reverse voltage has to be applied for some uh, sufficient time depends upon the SCR rating uh, so that it will uh, come into the forward blocking state. There are two types of computation broadly classified the natural computation, forced computation. Uh, as the name says, natural computation will occur naturally. We know it won't be any external circuit, uh, it will happen in AC circuits. That means AC waveform. We know that in positive half cycle and negative half cycle it will go. So every half cycle the current passes through the zero. That means the anode current is less than the holding current. That condition is achieved. As the current passes through the natural zero, a reverse voltage will simultaneously appear across the device during that period. So whenever you want to turn it off, that uh, natural computation will occur in the AC circuits. So we don't want any external circuit. The next is the forced computation. In DC circuits, the, the current will be in steady state and it will not come to the zero. So we forcibly make the current into make it into the zero uh, by using some external circuits. That is computation circuits. To turn off the circuit, the forward current should brought to zero for sufficient time so that the charge carriers will be removed. These are the two types. Uh, thanks for watching this short video. We will see one by one computation circuits in detail in other videos. Take care. Bye.